Hello, everybody, people, things. You've caught me while uh, while I was doing behind the scenes things. Um, very sneaky of you. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm putting this video up for a reason because I just heard a little birdie, and it told me that THQ just filed for bankruptcy. Now, in that video, which is a machinima video, that's where I'm getting my stuff from anyway. And so it must be true. It's it's from one of the higher people who know what the hell they're talking about, not the people who spread dirt sheet lies. Um, now he says that the game won't WWE 14, and most likely the next uh, whatever game that is, the other one, the the one with the with the bad weapons and stuff. I, I haven't played too many Saints Row. Saints Row, the first one was awesome, and then it just got comical. Anyway, those games, the next ones should be. Uh, unaffected so no worries we will get WWE 14 but WWE 15 ugh, it looks bleak to be totally honest I don't think that they'll have it um ah here we go this is why I'm here uh, this is also sort of a video for universe mode um, I'm gonna be adding in Biggie Langston I don't know who the hell this guy is I've seen NXT and FCW with him in it I just kinda skipped over his parts because all he did was squash he was almost the NXT's version of Ryback now are they bringing him in for Ryback? Is that is that what they're going to do? Because Ryback versus Biggie Langston at WrestleMania. I don't know. I, I, boo. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a. I don't know. We're gonna see what this Biggie Langston can do. But I just wanted to put out there that uh, yeah, THQ has filed for bankruptcy. Don't worry. The the future games will still have the THQ logo and stuff for the time being anything can change i mean they own it they can do whatever they want we're gonna go one on one oh let's not do a normal match let's do a uh let's do a cool match what match table match i love table matches they're my favorite matches and we're gonna be biggie langston and we're gonna face someone we're gonna we're gonna have infinite finishers because we kind of want to get a scope of what this guy's all about we're just gonna play so John Laurinaitis perfect. We're gonna go up against Johnny Ace. John Laurinaitis, very awesome. Table match at <laughs> Capital Punishment. Perfect. I like it. So Biggie Links, and I guess I might as well th throw in the slammies here. I didn't review the slammies. Um I, I said I possibly most likely would. I watched them. There was nothing to review. It was it was a house show. It was not good. Let's see what this entrance is for Mr. Biggie Langston, though. It w it was terrible. They had so many matches that I didn't even care for. But, like, the Im just the random things. I mean, Boogeyman showing up was awesome. It's like the first hour of the show was amazing. Second hour was, mm, okay. And the third hour was, ugh, until Biggie Langston appeared. So... I mean, the body looks fine. The face doesn't look right at all. He needs big popping eyes, like bulging eyes, like googly eyes. I don't know why they're... That's kind of silly. He's got a generic entrance, so nothing so spectacular about this creator wrestler so far. Alright, Biggie Langston versus Johnny Ace in a tables match. <laughs> this would be amazing. Come here. Come here. Perfect, so they have his finisher already. I like it. Now we just need to build up to a signature. Let's see if he has another finisher. But how am I supposed to put that through a table? I guess I could do it on, on the announce table. So far, a very just big guy move set. Um, Biggie Langston, I've never been a fan of. If any of you have seen his NXT stuff, go ahead and tell me what he, what do you think he's okay? Is he good? Is he all right? Oh no! Oh, it, it's over. It's so. <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> Poor Johnny Ace. Look at that. Poor Johnny Ace getting put through a table very early. Short video, I guess. Biggie Langston wins by way of KO. So let me know what you think of Biggie Langston. THQs and bankruptcy. And um, tell me what you thought of the slammies. I thought they were rather excruciating. Um, besides the shield parts, Flair coming back was fine. But it's just like the first two hours were okay. It was kind of, it was just a slow moving show. It didn't feel special. 
because we're we already have three hour raws. That's just me though. Um, so let me know what you think. Go ahead, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do what you gotta do, <laughs> and stay tuned for more random ass matches. Whenever they debut somebody else, I'm gonna add them into the universe mode. And remember, it's almost January now. Damian Sandow is almost here, as well as Antonio Cesaro. So stay tuned. Leave a like. Leave a favorite. Comment for sure. Let me know what you think about all these things. And look at that lady in the crowd. What the hell is wrong with her nose? Alright.